folks, this is Stacy Robin Smith here, and uh, today I'm doing a little uh, tech segment, and uh, I've got this very nifty little device. It's called a Pi Top Seed. Seed is C-E-E-D, and uh, pleased with my purchase. So I'm going to turn the camera around, and we'll look at what we've got here. Okay, hang on a half a sec. The um, box that it came in. This is actually the cover for the box, and you can see it's. Um, 14 inch HD screen, adjustable viewing angles, modular components, and uh, there, learn, play, create from. And uh, let's spin it around. Here's the box, and um, the parts were in here. So, in here is the Raspberry Pi 3, 3 although it's got relatively limited computing capabilities, it's very, very inexpensive. And so there it is. It, the, it was, I'll show you the actual device when I, in a minute. Okay, so this is the, the 14 inch HD screen, and uh, there's the screen. It came with a screen protector over top of it, and I plugged the, um, a mouse and a keyboard into it. And so down here is where there are um, one, two, that's the, the, U, uh, the USB plugs for the. Um, what do you call it the keyboard and the mouse and then there's two more down here and then underneath there is an ethernet cable Okay, so this is really cool. You can just Open her up that just slides out of there and inside of here is the um, There's the computer. That's it. There's the part that I was calling the breadboard and all I had to do was on the back here, you can, I don't know if you can see that or not, but it, on the, there's a little tiny foot there. These are magnetic um, rails, and so there's feet one, two, three, four on there, and they have little tiny magnets on the back of them. And you slip this, um, the breadboard, into that little spot, spot there, and to put the little feet down on here, and click, you Bob's your uncle. You plug in this HDMI cable here, and the device is up and running. It's really that simple. Um, I will say that these little um, little magnet feet, when I put them on, the magnets are on little plastic feet, and when I slid it, the magnets popped out of the pressure fit plastic. And so, what I'm going to do is take a little drop of glue and glue them in place on glue the magnet onto the foot so that it. Um, stays put when you move it around because when you come around here and you know how new USB plugs can be and they can be quite stiff plugging it in there and so when I put some torque on the um, USB it moved it moved the breadboard power supply just plugs in the back there and um, kind of a where is it down here is the um, on off button and so you can see when I hopefully when I turn the on off button I press it and it's going to what it does is it uh, there we go the screen lit up and what do they call that the Linux it runs the Linux operating system or Raspbian or something like that and that's it it's booting up and that's it it's it's up and running it's uh, really quite quite extraordinary it um, I haven't had it online yet because I haven't had it in the spot where I've had um, wireless but um, down here is chromium and um, you can that's that's your search engine and so I can just open that up and um, it, uh, it's pretty cool it's it's a pretty neat there we go click right down there So Chromium's opening up, but um, because I'm not online, it actually it won't um, it won't go anywhere at this time. And uh, 
limited limited abilities but at the same time if I go down here to the menu bar and I go up to office and I can go to there's base calc draw impress math and there's writer so it opens up Libra office <clears throat> there it is opens up a document and across the top here the toolbar is very similar to Google Docs or um, uh, Microsoft Word type of um, document and uh, it is uh, click on the chromium in the background I can shut that off I can file new spreadsheet boom opens up a new spreadsheet it's uh, this is really clever I'm uh, I'm quite impressed. Um, like I said, the um, the the whole thing cost me, I think it was ninety nine dollars, and it was ninety nine U.S. dollars, and um, it was uh, uh, to me it's a it's it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's kind of revolutionary because this could open it up so that basically anybody could have a computer. Of course, I did have to plug in my own keyboard and uh, mouse, but um, that's not. Those aren't the big expense items here, and um, the screen—it's got a—it's got a lovely screen. Uh, let's open up this. I open. I created a thing called demo document. So I'll double click. It opens up LibreOffice. You can see how quickly it works. And um, best part of the Raspberry Pi. <laughs> Close it. Quite responsive. Right click. Let's just say open, compress, cut, move to wastebasket. Do you want to move this file? Yes. Cleans that right up. And then down here are some of the different um, apps and um, things that are loaded onto this device. So uh, pretty neat. Um, I'm impressed. Uh, Raspberry runs the Raspberry Pi 3 and it is called Pi Top Seed. The uh, Pi Pi dash top C E E D. Interesting concept. Uh, this looks to me like it could be. Why not get a bunch of these into schools, and so that kids can uh, kids can use these and uh, have ability to do word processing, browsing, accessing their G Google apps, and. Uh, using being more productive and uh, online rather than waiting for a full desktop or a laptop computer <clears throat> you know it's, it's not it's not a extremely robust machine but it is um, I think it serves it serves a niche that is ready to be tapped into so that's it for today Stacy with uh, Pi top seed and uh, I'll, um, I'll, I'll post an update when I get using it a bit more and see how it works. Okay, that's it for today. Stacy with his Raspberry. Bye for now.